Online advertising should focus on sales conversion and not ad impressions alone. There are two schools of thought in the advertising world. Do you launch a campaign to reach as many people as possible, or do you focus more on the sales conversion aspects? One camp would say that the law of numbers is on your side, no matter what. If you can cheaply reach millions if not billions of people and a minuscule percentage of them respond in the affirmative, then you still have a potentially viable product. However, this is flawed logic because there is no real way to know for sure how many people heard your specific message at that moment in time. That's why, as online advertising continues to improve, more companies are focusing on the second camp's way of thought, sales conversion. With sales conversion, you know exactly how effective you are, because you have touched base physically with the customer. You know a name and a face and perhaps even a voice or a personality. The customer is giving you access, whether he wants to or not, into his world. He's showing you how to successfully move your product. Sales conversion is far more preferable than sales impressions, the number of people you may reach, but don't actually have proof of it. Ultimately, each impression is costing you a small amount of money, and with no return on that investment, you are in danger of deficit. The way that most online businesses are able to reach a high number of willing buyers is to advertise on sites that relate to the product or service they are selling. They typically manage these campaigns through a highly specific form of targeted marketing called Google AdWords, which takes the terms that people are actually searching and matches them to the advertisers who have targeted those specific words. Therefore, if one visits a site on plumbing repair, he is likely to see an advertisement for a company's brand new, revolutionary plumbing repair tool. There is a natural intrigue there that usually leads to sales conversion. Still, finding the eyes is not everything, you must also know how to treat and respect the customer once he has opened up his world to you. He wants a product or service that works for the specific problem that he is having. Listen to what his needs are. Offer him some assurance. And don't make any promises that you cannot keep in some way, shape, or form. Customers can be the building blocks of your business, or they can be the torpedo that tears you down. It is all in how you choose to treat them. What do you have to offer? Will it meet their needs? And what will you do to keep them satisfied? In the answers lie your success, 